feel like he was very aggro. Like the 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 punishes that he went for were kind of high risk, high reward. And I like that. That's what yeah. I like to see in melee, man. Me That's too. That's what I like to see in melee. All right, battlefield is starting already. Zane finding a couple slices. Oh, they they're, they're getting right into it. Oh yeah. Let's go. Already 40% built on Jigglypuff. Yep. And that's another, because of Zane, like his dash dance style in general, Yeah, doing laggy moves like that are very punishable, whether it's like F smash or pound, you're going to find yourself getting punished pretty quickly. True. Okay. Dancing. Nice, nice tight neutral from both these players. Just feeling each other out. As you should in game one. And Zane letting that. Oh, and there it is. Oh! Got him. That's that's gonna matter so much in this set. Yep. Him getting those those type uh, of tippers. Because you can just KO Jigglypuff at such low low percent. Yeah. Still no jump, and Ooh. that's gonna even it right back up. All right. Three socks apiece. Yeah, from what I saw in the PPU set, it felt like Tusain was very, very solid, keeping it like a grounded type of gameplay against Marth. Mm -hmm. And um, there'd be a couple times where the Marth would overextend with grabs and whatnot, and Tusain is just ready with a crouch cancel, so. Oh, but speaking of, there it is again! He gets another grab and turns it into another tipper. That's very, very big. Yeah, and it's it's finding huge. that kill at 60. Oh. But he's got to be careful with those pounds. It's the first, another use. Oh, almost got that, almost got the pivot tipper. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta be real. Another, like, that's like four or five pounds that Tusain has done, and, and Zane has done a really good job of capitalizing and punishing off of them. So I think Tusain's gotta be a little bit more cognizant of when to really get in there. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit of overcommitment with that forward smash on shield. That's kind of scary against Puff. Mm hmm. But again, he's already right back yeah. at kill percent. Yeah, he really is, right? 59%? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Dude, he three is so, for three. He is so consistent with that. Yep. Imagine being a puff fighting against Zane, and he got KOs at, like, 59 69% consistently. Because yeah. that's always been a struggle with Marth versus Puff, right? Yep. The whole Marth right is when you get, like, too high a percent, you're fishing for, like, up airs and up tilts and side B up tilt and whatnot. Yeah. But Zane doesn't have to worry about all that at all. Yeah, he just finds like it's so two saints got to be diing those down in a way at this point. There's there's no real reason not to, right? But even with the yeah, two saint getting a little a little frustrated, understandably so. Yep. Now Zane just commanding the center of the stage. Yeah. As soon as I say that, he just goes immediately into the corner. <laughs> but it's okay. He's right back. A lot of good percent from Zane. Oh, what a grab! Oh, and the first time he missed it. Nice. And that time, Tusain was able to get the right DI. And Zane's actually doing a really good job because there's a couple times where Tusain is trying to crouch underneath the grab. Yeah. And he waits for him to finish his crouch before getting the grab, which is big. Yeah. And so another thing, too, that Zane does is he goes for, you know, as Marth against Puff, you're not supposed to jump cancel your grabs. It's like the one matchup where you just do a regular dash grab. Right. But so Puff has distinct, you know, crouching animations. Right. But you can always get it if you get it with the most innermost part of Marth's grab. So that's why you see Zane going for a lot of the like really, really, really close to a crashing puff grabs. Right. It's because that no matter where she is in her like ebb and flow, it'll still grab. Like that's if you go for like sort of the edge of a grab, right. that's when it's RNG. But right. if you get it at the very, very close to the core of Marth's body, it doesn't matter. That's very important. It's, very, it's a lot of like very specific matchup knowledge that yeah. I feel like Zane has actually fleshed out quite a yes. bit. Look at that, just a quick 60. That's big. Yeah. <laughs> That's big. Suddenly he might get tippered and die. Yeah. Oh no. There's a lot of like mental pressure too if you're too sane, because now suddenly you're at 60% and you're like, okay, I gotta watch out for the grab. Look at that. Oh, did get the tipper though. But very see how close. he did that grab so close to too sane. Right. Which is big, because otherwise that crouch could be oh, such a big opportunity yep. for Puff. And again, gave himself some cover with the double down air off of the edge cancel. Jeez. Oh, and he gets the crouch. Zane is amazing. <laughs> He's so Zane, good. Zane is so good at this game. Oh, nice neutral air. 
Ooh, the one thing he does oh. do a little bit that scares... You know, I'm in no position to critique Marth or Zane's Marth against Puff. I'm really not. But the one thing that I, he does a lot that scares me a little bit is he gets pretty willy-nilly with this uh, double jump in neutral. Okay. And so if you get poached off, you know, if you get bared or fared, then you're you're sitting in a situation where you have, you know, nothing left but your side B. Right. And that's just scary. Right. Yeah, yeah. You can question him, dude. I'll allow it. Dude, I... You can question him, dude, Fendi. That's All cool. right. You lost a lot of weight, dude. You've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> You've earned it, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Do you say closing it out? Try oh. to bring this back. Pretty solid on the edge guarding. Um, every time that uh, Marth was off stage, he really made him work for it to get back on stage. And if not, got the stock. So. Yeah. Tusain definitely pushing him. It's not going to be an easy battle for Zane. Yeah. This is like. When you get to this percent, oh, still living. It's like that's why Dreamland is just objectively, objectively, excuse me, mm -hmm. such a good counter for Puff. Yeah. Because the window to find pivot tippers that will connect and kill is significantly smaller on this stage than any other stage. For sure. You for basically sure. have to get a grab with Puff at like 70 to 80 percent. And still like connect. Yeah, because if you get if you grab her at anything before that and still get the pivot tipper, she's gonna live. Right. And if you grab her at after that, you're not going to be able to connect the pivot timber. No, it's very, it's very, very important. That's why this this, this stage is so good yeah. as a counter pick. All right, Zane's keeping two Saint at bay, slowly but surely building the lead up to uh, pretty much a full stock now. Because even if he doesn't get the the low percent KOs that he might be getting on the other stages, he's still beating him out solidly in neutral. Yeah, like he's building up percent. Very look, look at that. Like he's already yeah. at forty five percent. Zane's yeah. follow-ups have been amazing. Ooh. And he did, so Toussaint did the, the thing oh that I like God. to see Puffs do is they do the grab ledge, retreating fair grab ledge again. But Zane is so quick with those up Bs to be able to sneak in between the let go of the ledge and the fair. Yeah. That's, you know, something that makes him just a little bit harder to edge guard than any other Marth. Yeah. And even the neutral positions that Zane is losing aren't very, very big openings for Toussaint. Like, he's not getting, like, a huge edge guard situation. He's not getting, like, an up tilt. He's, Zane is doing a really good job avoiding all of, like, the huge uh, moments that Puff has, right? Oh. Wait a minute. Gets an edge guard. Should be. And oh. the quick up B, that's, that's so ambiguous to, to try to edge guard. Again, very quick yeah. up B. A lot of time you're going to go a little bit lower to get ledge. But Zane is smart enough to oh. go to the stage and also gets the pivot. Again at 80%. Oh my God. That's Zane. a huge pickup. Ah, man. Zane's good. <laughs> Zane's is, really good at very this game, good. dude. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Finally wraps up the stock. Oh, oh, and he crouch cancels that too, so he could, oh, oh. what a risk. Two Saint. Okay. Two Saint. Wait, 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 two Saint firing back. That was a momentum shifting rest. Yeah, that was huge. Wait just a second. Yeah. Because if, if he finds another one. And now, like, that's something oh. that Zane's going to have to be, like, in the back of his mind. Like, all right, I whiffed my grab, and I got super, super hard punished for it. Whereas, you know, for the first game and a half, he was like, even if my grabs didn't connect, I wasn't really getting hit hard. Oh, I my God. I wasn't really getting punished. And now, it's like, oh, shoot. Yeah, and and on a stage like this, Toussaint has like a little bit more percent to play with. Mm -hmm. Like even if Zane gets like a quarter, why not? Oh wait a minute! Oh, he, I don't think he meant to do that forward. I think he meant to yeah. run off forward air, or run off back air, and unfortunately does not get the right input. Ooh. Quick forward air out of that combo from Zane. Both players at kill percent in a way. Yeah, yeah, dude. If oh, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. He spaced outside. He spaced outside the shield so that backer wasn't super committal from two states in. Should be able to land safely. Oh, and the edge cancels. Two oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Two states kind of feeling himself a little bit. I can feel it. Oh, oh no. SDI behind him. Yeah, that was not going to connect too high of a percent, but oh, not oh. enough. This is big, dude. Oh, oh still he's, living. He's still living. He's still living. He's still living. Okay. It's going to be like side B up tilt. That's oh, what you see Zane it, going for. He tried the side B. Oh, okay, okay. Toussaint doesn't Again. have too many more. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, that's Just barely enough. He actually probably could have lived that if he DI'd that better. Yeah. Because he went 
Straight not to the out, corner yeah. of the stage, right? He like did not go to the corner of the stage and it barely, barely KO'd. Yeah, I mean that was a great read by Zane too yeah. to do the overshoot nair to catch two Saints roll. That right. was that was pretty crazy. All right, so Zane clutches it out. A marathon six minute game to go up 2-0, and that is so 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 big in a best of five because now yeah. even if two Saint wins this game, you get to go to Yoshi's twice if you want. Yeah. Very close though. Two Saint definitely pushing him. I like that. But these are hard-fought battles, man. Like, doing a 3-0 comeback from a juncture like this, for how close that last game was, it's like a hot 15 minutes at least, yeah. right? And he, he did do it against Rishi at, at uh, Shina, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure okay. uh, Rishi was up 2-0. I, I would say I'm like 80% confident that's how the set went. I know it was very tight. Oh, and another miss pivot. Zane uncharacteristically missing two. Oh. And I, three a in a row. Three... Who is this guy? That's not Zane. Yeah, that's, not <laughs> that's, Zane. Not, that's not Zane. Who's playing for him right now? That's not right. It's always like very interesting to see top players mess up things that they're exclusively known for. Yeah. And it's like, wait a minute. You guys are human too? Yeah. Whoa. It's like, I, I also love the uh, the sort of like Kobe Bryant-esque, like, doesn't matter if he just missed three in a row, you know he's still going to go for it like, oh, on the yeah. next opportunity. As you he like, should. You can't let the three misses deter you from getting the fourth one to connect. Right. You gotta find this kill somehow. Oh my god, Marth's grab is wild. Did he really grab It's pretty him? good. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty good. That's, that, was, that was a grab and a half. Okay, takes first stock. Pretty clean. Only 71%. Ooh, good grab from Toussaint. Okay, off stage. Yeah, nice see, there guard. it was again. He, he tried to like set up an edge cancel and, and double jump and Very die. Good clean. Oh, the DI mix-ups with the throws. Oh, that's a quick 55%. And that's big on Puff. Yeah. Even if it's Dreamland, like, this is a scary position to be as Toussaint. Because if he gets one pivot, that could be it. Oh, misses the edge cancel on that down air. Oh, that F tilt. Okay. And look at the way that Zane is playing pretty grounded and, like, Amidst his dashes, you'll see like a crouch come out here and there. Because he's looking to punish what Toussaint does. Because mm. he's oh. at low percent, so a back air he can crouch and punish it. Yep. Oh, not quite. Nice, oh, nice. I like that shield drop. Fair. Oh, look at that. The counter play from Zane. So good. And off stage, this should be a sock for Toussaint. Can he get one more back air? Oh. No, gets around it. That's kind of a big miss. Yeah. Oh, oh that no-impact wow. land wow. F-tilt. I know Toussaint didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming. No. How could you? Oh, man. That missed edge guard into Zane taking the stock is a big momentum shift. Yep. Oh, and here we go. More percent again. Oh, he waited. I like Zane set it up to wait out for that fair, but it didn't matter. You saw Toussaint shaking his head a little bit because the light shoot came out from Zane, and then he pushed him off the, st uh, the platform and then got the aerial out. Yep. That's big. Okay, okay. Not gonna be able to punish it super hard because it's Dreamland, so you're only gonna get that up air. He's high percent, okay. Nice! Yeah, He's been it. getting him a lot with that. Yep. I like that from Toussaint. Because again, especially at that percent, like, you know, if Zane has to up be on stage, then you just go up and you pair him. Right. right. Or you just able to hit him and just knock him off stage again. A lot of landing lag on Marsa B. Right. So might as well grab the ledge. I like the way the Toussaint's been setting that up as well. Ooh, misses it again. But he's got a little bit of percent to play with. Yeah, he's that window <laughs> is closing very quickly. I like the way that he shook his head. He's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll get, I'll there's get it next the time. mix up, yep. The way he did the head nod, I was like, I'm going to get it next time. Yeah. And then he got you, it. You could only escape me for so long. <laughs> it's like, I'm getting it next time. OK. Oh, find that pound. Oh, that's big. That's really big. Good, really good DI from Zane to go away after that second back air. But then you're suddenly so far off stage that you're allowed to get edge guard yeah, like that. You're still in some trouble. All right, can Toussaint find a way to win this game? We saw a clutch rest. Oh, you see him. He is looking for it. He oh. is looking for that up till rest. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, nothing like the mid. The mid getting fourth smashed, like pump yourself up, knee <laughs> slap from Toussaint. I love it. 
He's like, wait, I can I can turn this around with one interaction if I get the right stuff. Oh, that's not the pound you need. Oh, that's not a pivot. Another chance of life for Tusain. Wait just a minute. Oh, my God. That up air would have been big. Saw what Tusain was going for. Okay. Gets on platform. 102% though for Puff. Not a great position to be. Ooh, and that'll do it. And that'll do it. Wow, Zane. 3 0? 3 0 and a handshake. Dang. So he is going to be playing against Chudad in MDVA battle, which means no matter what, we will have an MDVA representative in top eight winner side of.